So projects are really fun. It's great to have an idea and then see them come into reality through a few lines of code. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you five free APIs that you can use in your projects going forward in 2021. AlphaVantage is an API that will give you stock and company information data, Forex data and cryptocurrency prices. With the data, you can build a dashboard to simply display the daily prices or a wrap around the API to let a user search for a stock symbol, have the API go out and get the user the data they requested. Now, you don't need to make a full stack app to use this API, as you can call it just from the client side if you wanted, say in a React app. Um, I have used it in the past in an app where I've used a library called Brain.js to predict the stock price of a company the next day uh, using a, a, a machine learning library built in JavaScript. Now, if you've been anywhere on the web or using a mobile in the last 10 years, you'll know what a GIF is. And one of the biggest GIF sources on the internet is Giphy, and they also have an API. So why don't you make a wrapper for the API to let the user search for a GIF, or you could simply have a user input a sentence and pick a random word from that sentence and show that GIF to the user. So if the user entered, um, I don't know, I like programming, you could pick out the word programming from that string, find a GIF, from the word programming and send that back to the user. Now, Reddit does have an official API, but a cool little trick that you can do with any subreddit is just add .json to the end of the URL, and it changes the whole page into a JSON format. And now if you have a plugin for Chrome that helps format JSON, you can go in and look at how a, a page on Reddit looks, but purely in JSON. This means that you could use that URL string with .json at the end to do a fetch call, for example, and display that data on a page. Now, this data is basically could be used to recreate your favorite subreddit with a different CSS styling. Now, I very recently have been practicing my React skills and I built an app where I took a load of um, cycling subreddits and sort of aggregated them into an app. Now, JSON placeholder is actually one of the very first APIs I ever used when I was learning to program back in my bootcamp. And I do actually still come back and use it occasionally uh, when I quickly need to prototype something. I think the last time I used it was uh, when I needed to check how a card component, like how to uh, render out multiple card components when I was learning React. Um, but obviously you can use it for a few other things, other uses, but it's a really easy and accessible uh, API to start with if you're just starting out. I finally like to recommend the YouTube API. Now, being that YouTube is owned by Google, uh, they have some really great API docs and really well-documented uh, tutorials to help you get going with the API. One of the endpoints that I really liked using and I've used in a previous project is getting the number of subscribers you have on a channel. Um, and another endpoint I think I'd like to highlight on this project is that you can send programmatically a like to a video. So if you can work out how to take this video, for example, and use the YouTube API to send it a like, that'd be cool. Thank you very much. Or you could just go down below and click the like button. If you do manage to do that, leave me a comment down below with a link to a GitHub. I'd love to go and see the code. So there we go. That's five quick APIs that you can use in projects in 2020 coming up. Um, if you've found this video useful, then please, if you could go ahead and leave it a like, leave me a comment and tell me what your favorite API is. And if you don't have done so already, please could you go ahead and subscribe to my channel too, that'd be really cool. Uh, until next time, thanks a lot for watching.